Draw the Dark by Ilsa Bick. High school junior Christian Cage lives in Winter, Wisconsin, a town he hates and one that is not very fond of him. Both his parents disappeared long ago. He believes they are waiting for him in another dimension he calls the Sideways Place. He is the town weirdo, a loner who paints bizarre pictures. Everyone blames him for the suicide of his first grade teacher. How could a six-year-old cause the suicide of a teacher? He wakes up one morning sore and tired with red paint on his hands. His uncle and guardian, the sheriff, drives him out to an old barn and shows him a huge painting with wolf eyes, swastikas, and an ominous message. All the evidence points to Christian as the culprit, but he can't remember painting it. Did he paint it in his sleep? Christian is sentenced to repaint the barn, which is owned by the richest, most powerful, and meanest man in town, Mr. Eisenman. Christian is also sentenced to hundreds of hours of community service at a retirement home and to undergo psychiatric counseling. At the barn, Christian experiences waking dreams where he is in someone else's body reliving memories from the 1940s. He sees German prisoners, a strange domed building, and horrifying acts of violence. He also has a violent run-in with a dangerous thug that leads to more trouble for Christian. At the retirement home, Christian hears voices and has strange, possibly psychic experiences. He is irresistibly drawn to the room of a comatose pa patient, Mr. Wittick. Wittick turns out to be the last of what was once a large Jewish population in the town of Winter. How come nobody knows about the lost Jewish community and what happened to them? Christian knows that all of this, the barn, Mr. Wittick, the German prisoners, the missing Jewish community, Mr. Eisenman, the violence, and even a dead baby is connected. But how, and why is it all converging on Christian? To find out, read Draw the Dark by Ilsa Bick.